Hello, welcome to Movie City Recap Channel. The film starts when we see a ship full of sailors. They believe there is a mermaid so they throw harpoons to catch her. When Prince Eric find this, he tries to stop them, telling that it is just a dolphin asking not to harm it. There is a discussion between the sailors saying that sea is full of dangerous creatures and that mermaids is one of them. Despite Eric's thirst for adventure, Grimsby, Eric's butler, is looking for the boy by request from his mother, Queen Serena. There was a kingdom of mere people lying deep in the ocean. This kingdom was ruled by King Triton. The king gathers his daughters Perla, Indira, Mala, Tamika, Karina, and Caspia as they prepare for the coral moon. Triton's little daughter, Ariel, is missing. King Triton sends his guardian, Crab Sebastian, to look for her. Ariel is in the company of her best friend Flounder stumbles upon a telescope belonging to sailors, which she adds to her collection of human world trinkets. They discover a fork in a sunken ship but are quickly pursued by a shark. Ariel cleverly tricks the shark by luring it to a mirror, causing it to become stuck and allowing them to escape. Later, Ariel and Flounder encounter Scuttle, a bird who pretend to have a limited knowledge of the human world. Scuttle identifies Ariel's fork as a dingle hopper used for styling hair. Yeah. Give it a little twirl, a little... No, it's forbidden. Sebastian informs Ariel that she missed the Coral Moon meeting, asking her to return to her father. Meanwhile, two eels sent by Ursula, she is Triton's sister and considered R.O.B. the Sea Witch. She was angry at him for gaining control of the ocean and leaving her in an abyss of misery. She is spying on Ariel hoping to use her to overthrow her brother. When Ariel finds Triton, he scolds her for risking her life, as he warned her of going near the surface, telling that humans were responsible for the death of her mother. Despite his warning, Ariel expresses her desire to see the world above and sings part of your world. She sees a celebration for Eric's 21st birthday and follows the lights. A storm hits, causing the ship to crash and Eric to fall into the water. Ariel rescues him and manages to revive him on the shore. As Eric catches a glimpse of Ariel and hears her voice, Ursula realizes she can use Ariel in her cruel plans. Ariel returns underwater. Sebastian tries to convince her that life on the surface is so dangerous and that life under the sea is safe and better. After briefly reveling in the beauty of her surroundings, Ariel returns to her cave and pauses to admire a statue of Eric that has fallen into the water, which she has claimed for herself. Eric returns back and his people was trying to find the girl that rescued him. Selena thinks that Eric is not well. He replied that this girl has changed his life and he leaves to find her himself. Ariel and her sisters clean up the ruins of the sunken ship. Ariel is still upset because of Triton's opinion about human world. Sebastian told Triton that Ariel is in love with Eric after going up to the surface. Triton finds Ariel in the cave and punishes her for her disobedience. While Ariel tries to argue that not all people can be evil, Triton uses his weapon to destroy all of Ariel's possessions, causing her to cry in grief. Back to Ursula who are using Flotsam and Jetsam to contact Ariel and lure her to her lair, while Flounder and Sebastian follow. Ariel discovers a dark hole for sailor skeletons before meeting her estranged aunt. Ursula is intrigued by Ariel's desire to be with people and her interest in Eric promoting her magic and showing that she use her magic to help others. Ursula makes a deal with Ariel. She will transform Ariel into a human and give her three days. If she received a love's kiss from Eric, she will remain as a human permanently and if she fails, she will return back to be a mermaid becomes Ursula prisoner. Ariel accepts the deal. The deal includes that Ariel must give up her tail, the ability to breathe underwater, and her siren voice. Then we find Ariel's tail disappears and legs grow in its place. Then she swim to the surface. 
After being rescued by a fisherman, Ariel is brought to the island kingdom and ultimately to Eric's castle. Eric heard about her arrival. As he was desperately searching for the girl who had saved his life, he rushes to meet her. Ariel was excited but her inability to speak causes Eric to turn away. Later at the evening, Ariel explores the castle and discovers Eric's collection of items that he had accumulated during his voyages. Eric and Ariel spend some time together examining his collection in detail. Doesn't matter. All this time. <laughs> Next day, Grimsby lets Eric to take a tour into the town with Ariel. He didn't let Selena know. They spend the day together, then Eric brings Ariel to a market. Sebastian, Flounder, and Scuttle are cooperating together to make the deal done and help Ariel to get the loving kiss. They make Scuttle steal Eric's hat. It was a part of their plan to make Ariel and Eric take a boat to ride over a lake. Would you shine? They attempt to set a romantic mood with the help of other animal creatures. Finally, Ariel is about to receive the love kiss, but Ursula make it fails as she realizes Ariel is nearly gain the deal. Ursula tends to use one of her potions to make herself looks as a beautiful woman named Vanessa, and she used Ariel's voice to hypnotize Eric. The movie takes us to the underwater kingdom. Triton is searching for Ariel. He believes that drives his daughter away from him by his actions. He was feeling kind of mind conscious. Next morning, Scuttle flies into the room to tell what she has heard about Eric getting ready to propose. Ariel goes to find Eric, but she finds him with Vanessa. She runs away feeling heartbreaking. The next morning, Ariel and her friends discover that Eric will marry Vanis and that he will announce his engagement to Vanessa later that day. It's Ariel's voice. Scuttle hears it coming from Vanessa's room. She go to check it and she finds Vanessa who looks as Ursula in the reflection of the mirror. She return to warn Ariel and let her know what is going on. Flounder goes to tell Triton while the others go off to stop the engagement. Scuttle try to disturb the guests at Eric's wedding party while Max helps in attacking Vanessa. Ariel enters and seizes the locket, shattering it and releasing her voice. She finally becomes able to talk with Eric. The sun sets before Ariel received the kiss and she returned to a mermaid again. Selena didn't like sea creatures believing that they are dangerous. Vanessa transformed to Ursula, then she catches Ariel before jumping back into the ocean. As Triton tracks down Ursula, she seizes Ariel and with the help of her minions Flotsam and Jetsam, nearly drains Ariel's life force. Triton eventually agrees to relinquish his trident in exchange for Ariel's safety. Ursula orders the eels to drain Triton's life force. In the same time she was gaining more power from the trident. Eric tries to save Ariel, striking Ursula's arm with a harpoon. In retaliation, Flotsam and Jetsam attempt to submerge Eric so that Ursula can kill him, but Ariel uses her powers to blast and vaporize the eels. Enraged, Ursula transforms into a monstrous size and attacks Ariel and Eric. They fighting each other causing Ursula to sink to her death. As a result, Triton's life force is restored as the Trident falls into the ocean. Eric returned back to the surface. He was searching for Ariel but it appears difficult to find her. Selena tells Eric that she misjudged sea creatures and his feelings for Ariel. Later, Triton notices Ariel looking out at the castle longingly. He becomes sure about his daughter desire and that he has to let her go. He uses his trident to give Ariel her legs back and she returns to Eric where they share their first kiss. Ariel and Eric got married and prepare to sail off and make a tour around the world. They are met by Flounder, Sebastian, and Scuttle, before Triton and Ariel's sisters, plus all the other mare people arrive to say for them goodbye. The movie shows us the importance of following your heart and pursuing your dreams.
plus the importance of communication and understanding between different cultures. Hope you enjoyed the movie and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a movie.